Hello, I'm Command Master Chief Art Rivers, Assistant for Navy Uniform Matters. In March 2006, after extensive research and fleet input, then Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Michael Mullen approved the adoption and production of a new working uniform. As a result, our sea bags will be getting smaller. So in January 2009, we'll begin a two-year rollout of the new Navy working uniform, otherwise known as the NWU. This year-round unisex uniform was designed to accommodate both male and female sailors and meet multifunctional and geographical uniform requirements at sea and ashore. The new uniform replaced a number of current working uniforms such as working utilities and wash khakis. This training video will illustrate the NW's basic, prescribable, and optional components as well as the manner of wear. The occasion for wear and a list of all uniforms the NW will replace will be announced via NAV admin message. So in the meantime, for more information on uniforms and uniform matters, please visit our website at the end of this video. Thank you for your time, and as always, take charge and carry out the plan of the day. The Navy working uniform, NWU, is a four-color print pattern. The colors are haze gray, deck gray, navy coverall blue, and black. The shirt has the embroidered crest of the official Navy SEAL, which includes an anchor, the USS Constitution, and an eagle, also known as the ace, on the left pocket. Additional features embedded throughout the fabric include the ace and the letters USN. The NWU is designed to accommodate both male and female sailors to fulfill multifunctional and geographical uniform requirements at sea and ashore and to minimize the external requirement for foul weather gear. It is designed to be loose-fitting, providing airflow needed for ventilation, cooling, and layering of undergarments during inclement weather. Note, alterations to make the NWU form-fitting are unauthorized. The NWU is permanent press and has been treated for soil release. Starch or artificial stiffeners reduce performance of permanent press features and are not authorized. Basic components consists of an eight-point cap, the blue cotton undershirt, shirt, trousers, belt with a closed face buckle, black boot socks, blousing straps, black nine-inch steel-toed leather boots, embroidered rank insignia, and service and name tapes. Prescribable components consists of a black mock neck sweater, a Gore-Tex parka coat with black fleece liner, and a black knit watch cap. Optional components include 9-inch black rough out steel toed boots, for females gold or silver ball earrings, Earmuffs with the outer garment only, black leather gloves, and overshoes. NWU features and manner of wear will be discussed from this point on. The headgear is an eight-pointed cap with a crown shape, ventilation eyelets, and a quilted visor. It is worn squarely on the head so that the visor is on a line and just above eye level. Embroidered rank insignia are required for sailors in pay grade E4 and above. Caps are not to be pushed, rolled, folded, or tucked into the rolled sleeves of the uniform. When authorized, the Navy knit watch cap may be worn during cold weather. It is worn diagonally from the base of the back of the head, across the ears, and on the forehead. Rank insignia is not authorized on the knit watch cap. The 100% cotton navy blue crew neck undershirt is the only undershirt authorized to be worn with the NWU. Thermal underwear is authorized to be worn underneath the undershirt and trousers as long as it is not visible. The NWU shirt has five front concealed buttons covered by a fly opening, two front patch pockets with top entry flaps, and each sleeve has an angled shoulder pocket with flaps. All closures will be secured. The shirt is normally worn outside the waistband of the trousers, but when directed, it may be worn tucked in. When authorized, the sleeves may be worn rolled up, with the right side outforming a three-inch wide band covered by the cuff of the shirt. 
The shirt sleeve will be approximately two inches above the elbow, with the outside digital camouflage pattern visible on the cuff. Rolling the sleeve in this manner allows for quick unrolling and buttoning during emergent situations. The trousers have a front zippered fly with a button closure, an elasticized waistband with belt loops, two quarter top pockets, two bellowed thigh cargo pockets, and two black hip pockets with flaps. All closures will be secured. The trousers are worn fastened fully on the waist with the belt buckle centered over the button. The trouser legs will be bloused with blousing straps and will cover the top three rows of safety boot eyelets. When authorized to wear the trousers unbloused, the length should not extend below the bottom of the safety boot heel. Male and female enlisted sailors, E1 through E6, will wear the one and a quarter inch black cotton or nylon woven web belt with a silver finished closed faced buckle and tip. Male and female officers and chief petty officers will wear a one and a quarter inch khaki cotton or nylon woven belt with a gold closed faced buckle and tip. Note, when properly worn, the belt tip will not extend outward beyond the belt buckle. A decorated buckle with the appropriate naval insignia, designs, or devices to which the wearer is entitled is authorized for optional wear.